we have been staying outside of Flagstaff on some BLM land for the last week. Today's Mother's Day. I think it's such a special day. I feel like the energy is just really different um, than any other day. came down to the farmer's market um, in Old Town Flagstaff. I love farmer's markets and I love to support local businesses and local farms and just kind of get the flavor of where we are. Free parking. Yeah. Happy Mother's Day. Okay, hold on, don't get any picking, picking your nose. Your nose. <laughs> okay, say it again. I'll walk up. Oh wait, no, that that's like fake. I thought you don't like to be fake. Okay, you walk up to me. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Oh, do you see that birdie? Do you see that parrot? There's a lot of families out today, and moms with flowers. Did you find what you're looking for? Yeah, except it's five dollars. This was the perfect thing for me to do today. We are in a place of uncertainty, specifically financial uncertainty. Some days I wake up feeling really overwhelmed. Some days I wake up feeling incredibly abundant and so lucky and blessed. I think the best thing I can do for myself and for my family right now is to stay present. Keep up on my daily spiritual practice, keep aligning with my inner being, my soul, you know, tapping into that creative flow. What's your wish, mommy? You know what my wish is. We're building this lifestyle brand, a conscious living brand, because that's what we believe in. You know, we are teachers and Fritz has a background in film and I have a background as a nurse in healthcare and I think with that combination of things we can create something super cool. wanted to call and say uh, happy Mother's Day and I hope that you're feeling better. No, taking it a day at a time at the moment. But we find ourselves at a bit of a crossroads and try to figure out where we want to go next and what we want to do. 
so much of what we had anticipated on happening has fallen through. And we're finding ourselves on a, on a new journey, uh, one that was unexpected. So we're trusting in that, of course, because we believe that everything happens for a reason and that we do co-create our own reality as we project our vibration into the world. thought that I would end up taking a job as a nurse while we were on the road. I had a job all set up and was going to take it. I had this big interview um, and they offered me the position and all my time off that I wanted and the pay was good and you know all this stuff. I need to get my license in Arizona and renew my Washington license and have blood work done and a physical done and fingerprinting done and all these, you know, all these hoops you have to jump through. This job, you know, it, it just wasn't working. It was feeling really hard to make it happen. And basically the hospital needed to know that I wasn't going to make the start date because I needed to be compliant for all these things and we had to wait for some money to come in so that we could go and pay for all of this. You know, I had to let the job go and we are now in a place where, yes, our bills are paid and we have food and all this stuff, but, you know, we need to find a way to bring money into our life again. <laughs> What'd you do? The um, drone was about to take off and I couldn't control it. I stopped it with my fingers. Ouch. Ooh, that one. Oh man, yeah, it got me really good there, huh? You know, working in the hospital setting doesn't feel like that is in alignment with my soul, and it hasn't for a long time, but it's been how we've been able to pay for our life. It keeps seeming like the universe is giving us just what we need to keep doing this, to continue to put out conscious content, to keep focusing on this business that has been a seed for so long. We are kind of like being forced to just put it all into this. And it's overwhelming and it's scary, but it's really exciting and it feels freeing. Did you give her a big kiss for Mother's Day? My chucka. She just said to give you, for you to give me a big kiss. Can you do that? Can you give mommy a kiss? Can you give me a kiss? Thank you. Can Granny have one? Huh? Can I have one? <laughs> to communicate with other people. It's a meaningful way to express ourselves and our life and how we live it. You walk around the towns of this country and you connect with the people and you see all the good and all the work that people are doing. I think that the paradigm has shifted so much now that there is such a discrepancy between, you know, this new earth and this new way to live and the old. Bye. Bye.
Mm. It's good that, that that's changing, but I think it can make those that are so much wanting change and believe in a new way of existing, it can make us feel kind of crazy and unsure where our place is in this world. We're finding it, you know, I, I see that. I see what Fritz and I have created so far and ways to eat and to cook and to just live. To live so that you're true to yourself and you're authentic to yourself. <laughs> So, anyways, that's where we are. Um, I don't know. That's where we are. <laughs>